We deliver our best care when everybody on the team knows exactly what's going on. They know their role, they know what they have to do, um, they understand what everybody else in the team is doing. It's a highly organized, mechanized way of treating patients. It's important that everybody involved in a complicated case knows what's going on. February 16th, I went to the gym and I went down with a uh, massive heart attack. They heard it was a, a deputy chief in the fire department was down, the local chief responds, the local battalion responded. They were getting me there so I could get there before he died. They told the fire department, it wasn't even critical, it was grave. It was that bad a condition, uh, they really didn't expect me to live. We have for the last year been applying hypothermia cooling down the brain for victims of cardiac arrest. And historically, cardiac arrest patients were considered to be untreatable. There was nothing that you could do for them. But we've been successful uh, with a number of cases in the last year. If I don't get transferred up to New York Presbyterian, there's a good chance I'm not making it. It was fortunate that I worked here. I had very recently had an experience with a patient who had the cooling protocol for post-arrest, who had done extremely well. I'm walking into the ICU, and the nurse hands me the phone. You remember that patient? Yeah, I remember that patient. That's why I called you. So you thinking what I'm thinking? She said, yes, I want you to take him. We got here, and it was probably maybe an hour and a half later that he started to arrest again. At that point in time, we began very aggressive um, cardiopulmonary resuscitation which actually lasted probably a couple of hours in which everybody was working from physicians to, to nurses to techs to everybody involved, working incredibly hard trying to bring him back. He was, without a doubt, one of the sickest patients I've ever resuscitated. Recurrent arrests, he was blue. Everything that needed to be done was done very consistently. It was really poetry in motion. And this is what's so instrumental in terms of providing a good outcome is when all the different disciplines are speaking with one another, working with one another, all with the same goal in mind. The doctors were phenomenal. I, I feel I tell people in the fire department, I got the 18. We were trying to treat him neurologically. Then when he had cardiovascular failure, well, we had the CCU guys to come. And he went on an intraortic balloon pump. He went on an LVAD. And his heart, which was not functioning at all that day, recovered. And his brain recovered. And he made this amazing recovery. The care and the innovation. And I believe that that harmony exists on a steady basis, not just one specific critical event. For me, it was my critical event. But if that harmony didn't pre-exist, it couldn't have worked that well that day. Your Presbyterian saved my life. I feel I made a full recovery. Yeah, it's coming up almost on a year. February 16th was the day I went down. By the end of uh, July, I participated in uh, the fire department triathlon. And I had a goal. I wanted to come back uh, training-wise, athletically-wise, and I also wanted to come back to, to the job. New York Presbyterian is, has the reputation. I don't need to see that it's number six in the, in the country and number one in New York City. It's ingrained in my mind that this is the place to go. And the day that I had this heart attack, it was no doubt this was going to be the best care, my best shot at living. I had the, the best care anywhere in the world.